Hello, my friends. I'm Pastor Doug, and it's my joy to visit with you today. Happy Thanksgiving. I hope as you're watching this, uh, your day will bring you great joy and happiness as you share time with your family and friends. He and I are so much looking forward to spending some time with our family. Uh, in the midst of this pandemic, this is something we don't want to take for granted. Today, I'd ask a special prayer for my sister. Uh, yesterday, she had another chemo treatment. And your continued prayers for her as uh, she continues these treatments uh, is greatly appreciated. But she's doing uh, remarkably well and uh, has had a lot of strength uh, throughout all these uh, different uh, challenges that she's meeting very well. You know, today's message is a message, uh, as you might expect, one of gratitude, but perhaps not in the way you would think. For I believe that Thanksgiving gives all of us a pause to reflect, to give thanks as a nation and a people. But you know, as Christians, shouldn't gratitude be literally woven into the fabric of every believer's life every day, all day? So in my devotion, I'd just like to offer up how we might increase our gratitude quotient, how we might be more um, infused uh, with gratitude uh, throughout our day. I read an interesting thing, uh, in fact, Rick Warren uh, wrote it just uh, quite recently, and he said that, that our attitude for the day is set in the first eight minutes of your day. Now think about that, the first eight minutes of your day. I'm guessing some of you aren't even fully awake in the first eight minutes of the day. But that first eight minutes sets the tone for the rest of our day. So that begs the question, how do we want our day to be? Do we want to be grunt? Do we want to grumble, gripe, and grunt our way through our day? Or do we want to be grateful, happy, pleasant? Seems like an easy question with an easy answer. We want to be grateful and happy, right? Sure. But how do we do this? Now there is the challenge. James 1 verse 17 says this, Every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of the heavenly lights, who does not change like shifting shadows. So I want to offer up to you today a very simple game plan that helps us to focus on God and to remind ourselves how much he loves us and all that he does to meet our daily needs. And how do we do this effectively? Well, let's see if we can't put a few things into practice that uh, helps us to be more grateful and helps us to get off to a good start each and every day. So, number one, begin your day, first of all, thinking about God and his goodness and simply give him thanks. Don't, don't worry about the words. Don't, don't be worried about how you say it. Just begin thinking about, well, gosh, Lord, you're always there for me. You're so loving and you're so caring. Um, I often think about how, cons how consistent God is. And, and you know, no how crazy the world gets around me, God is like that anchor. He holds me steady uh, no matter what else is going on. So don't worry about how you say it. Just, just beginning, begin as you get up, making your bed, whatever you're doing early on in that routine to just begin thinking about God and how good he is and, and how he's present for you and begin to share your thanks. I do that while I'm doing my exercise and just going through some of my early part of the routine of my day. But I'm trying to be mindful of God's goodness and to give him thanks. I know a lot of people really enjoy music. So I might encourage you as another way of being grateful uh, and getting gratitude more into your day and giving you off to a positive start, make a playlist of music that expresses gratitude. Pick those songs that, that you enjoy that uplift God's goodness, his goodnesses, songs of praise for God's many wonderful attributes and all that he does. And then let those uplifting, upbeat songs enhance the start of your day. Put a bounce in your step and get you humming some of your favorite songs as you go throughout your day. And then one last thing. Make a list of things that you're thankful for and keep it nearby. 
You know, I make a daily entry into my journal of several things every day that I'm thankful for, for what God has done in that day for me. You don't need a journal, though. You could just make a list, and you could place it by your bed. You could put it on your desk or even on your computer. But keep it where you can see it. Review it and add to it. Let that list remind you of the abundance and ongoing blessings from God and be thankful. As you make this list, it's going to be amazing as you see just how much God provides for you each and every day. So let's give this a try. And when you wake up tomorrow morning, focus on God for all that he provides for you, for all the needs that he will give throughout your day and give him thanks. And my friends, I think it'll change the rest of your day for the better. Amen. A few things to share with you, uh, kind of a lot of things that are coming together and happening here um, in the very near future at Wesley Church. We've been uh, supporting joint hands uh, with gifts uh, for the children, and we need to make sure that those gifts that you said you were going to bring in, that you bring them in by Sunday, um, Sunday, November 28th, so this week. Please place them in the box in the lobby uh, and uh, say, we certainly want to thank you for helping bring uh, this needed uh, help uh, to, to the children and uh, to bring some joy into their lives. Uh, on Sunday uh, is the beginning of Advent, and the adult Sunday school class will be doing a new study. Uh, they're going to be looking at Faithful Christmas Through the Eyes of Joseph, uh, written by Adam Hamilton. The study is done online via Zoom. Uh, we do this at 1045 on Sunday morning. You can contact the church office or Jeff Miller if you'd like to be added to the invite uh, email with the link uh, to the Zoom class. There are two books uh, left in the office uh, if you do not have a book yet. This week uh, on Tuesday, November 30th is Men's Breakfast at 9 a.m. All men are invited for a wonderful time of great food and fellowship. Also this coming week, Mom to Moms will meet on Wednesday, December 1st at 6.30. Uh, this month they are meeting in the uh, gym. Um, uh, mothers are welcome to come and enjoy a special evening together, relax, uh, enjoy the fellowship. Uh, they gather and begin with a meal. And then the kids have their own program. Uh, this month, uh, remember you need to bring your unbaked uh, cookie dough. And they'll be baking cookies and uh, sharing in an annual cookie exchange. Uh, everyone is welcomed. Those are the highlights of many things happening here at Wesley Church. And um, say more details are in the bulletin and the monthly newsletter. So with those things in mind, uh, again, I wish all of you a happy Thanksgiving. Let's close our time with a word of prayer. Loving God. I thank you for all that you give each of us, our salvation in Jesus Christ, the love and care of family and friends, the love, prayers, and support of our church family, and your daily provision in each of our lives. Help us to start every day with gratitude and to know it makes it a better day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, thank you for visiting with me. We'll talk again soon. May the peace of God be with you. Stay strong and stay safe.